first stream, of course, there's going to be a tarantula feeding, where I'm going to be feeding my tarantula, which is a slang of Brazilian black. Um, her name is Ashtix, but I also have uh, three other spiders I want to show. Um, I'm not going to feed them on the live stream because I just would rather not to, because they're actually just spiders, and they're spiders that I've just found in my room, and I've uh, kept them because obviously. When you find a spider in your room, you usually just let it go, but I just end up keeping them. So, I have, I have three spiders in containers. Some of them don't have um, substrate though, which I have to work out. I have to give them up all their substrate and maybe a hide as well. Um, but I know the species of the spiders, but they're they're very common house spiders, so it's not like they're um, like anything uh, difficult to handle or anything like that. Um, but um, I'll them. They're just normal common house spiders. So I keep them in here. Uh, this one actually molted. Uh, I think it was a few days after I had it. And it's missing four legs. Yes, four legs. And it's still going. And look at how much it has webbed up. Now this is a common house spider. I forgot the species name. But um it's a it's just a normal common house spider. Um but I have another one that is common, but it's a different species because obviously it looks different. Um but this one hasn't webbed up much. Um it's got those like by, by butterfly like things like uh, I'm not sure how to explain it like like little like pom poms on the end like a, what a butterfly has on the front of the face those kind of things and um, yeah this is this one right there and this is this little one I was mentioned with the four missing legs <laughs> it is webbed up so much though it's the one that's met webbed up the most the other one. We got this one which is webbed a bit. This is the same species. I have two of the same species with the, the butterfly little thing on the front and um, one of the other one. I did have two but the other one died unexpectedly. I'm not sure entirely why. I, I have absolutely no why. I fed them. I gave them water. I have completely no idea. I guess it was just a lifespan or something but um, it just didn't survive for some reason. Um, but yeah. And I got this little guy. Here. I'm aware that they don't have anything um, in here um, to do anything with. I'll have to sort that out eventually. But yeah, I, I'm just <laughs> I'm just somewhat catching spiders now <laughs> because I found um, the, the most recent one I have is the one with the, the butterfly things on the front, um, which you can probably find videos of on YouTube about like how friendly they are. Uh, but um, this one I found next to my bed and it was very weird because obviously I was laying in my bed at the time and so I just saw it in the corner of my eye didn't think much of it then realized wait that's a spider <laughs> uh, I'm fine with tarantulas but sp spiders come and take part that's a bit different because <laughs> um, obviously spiders are much different than tarantulas that again, I probably would freak out if there was a tarantula. But, um, yeah, so when it happened, I was obviously like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I now have three spiders that I have captured from the essence of my room. Uh, there's more, there's more spiders going around lately than there is ever before. Probably because, uh, well, uh, males obviously will adventure out to find females and that kind of stuff. That's why I'm assuming these three that I have are males because females never leave their hides most of the time so I'm assuming that they were males just going out and trying to do their business. Um, I don't know. Let me google that name and see if it is because I, I did search them found the name. Oh yes, that, that that that's literally the one. That's actually the one. Yes. That's that's the one. I have two species of them. 
Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The, the, the like, uh, like I, how I explain them is like um, butterfly, um, like things at the top. That's how I explain them. But yeah, that's exactly the species. I have two of them <laughs> because they were just wandering my room. One I found by Asterix because I, God knows why he decided to go buy a tarantula, and the other one was on my bed, <laughs> which I have no idea why it thought that was safe. But yeah, it did. So yeah, I currently have those three, but one of them is another species, which is just a common house spider. I, I don't know what the com what the name the scientific name is for it, but it's known as a common house spider. So is that anything like um, fantastic or anything like that, or a rare species? It's it's common. I mean, I found it outside. Um, I think it was somewhere on the windowsill outside. And it was raining and it was dark outside at the same time as well. My family just go ahead and ask me if I want the spider that they just found and I'm like, sure. <laughs> Cause I, I get 100 crickets in with my order when I'm, when I'm getting for Asterix. So I might as well just get more spiders as well, therefore I can use more crickets, because obviously the crickets, they don't last like forever, and even though I do feed them, get them water, they eventually die off, um, it's just kind of a waste doing, getting 100 crickets, because that's the, that's the limit amount, and so I thought, why not have more spiders or more tarantulas to then feed them to them, but yeah. These, uh, crickets that I have in here have lasted a long time, actually, they've lasted Maybe, maybe three weeks. That's a bit of a, it's a bit of a span. But yeah, maybe three weeks. I can't exactly remember, but I think maybe three weeks. So I don't think we've ordered them anytime soon. But thank you, mom. That's my mom and chat. Uh, mom, can you please order another lot of crickets? Because I'm going to need some for next week. Um, but yeah, uh, I have Asterix here with me. She's in her hide. Somewhere, you can see her leg. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be feeding her. She, sometimes at night, right, she'll have her um, legs sticking out of the dirt, which is incredibly adorable, obviously. But like, it's super weird and odd. <laughs> but when she does it, I'm like, what is she trying to do? She is such a, ma a majestic little creature. She has like, oh, okay, she's doing it now. She's doing it now. She's wondering what's up. Over here, well, I don't know if you guys can see, but on this side here, she has like another exit. Like, all the dirt is built upwards and she just made like a little dip in the middle. And that's where she kind of like hides. Oh, there she is. She's up and out. Oh, bless her. All right, I'm gonna pop a cricket in there. Well, first I gotta undo the lid. Ooh, if you come out, that'd be really nice. She's probably wondering what the hell's happened. Right, now I'm gonna get a cricket with my tongs. I got one. It is alive, by the way. It's just not moving. Right. Just gonna see if I could do this. Pop it in. Let's 
see if we can get the action. Yeah. There's asterisk. And the cricket is all the way on the other side. So you just need asterisk or the cricket to go to her. Oh god. I think it went all the way on the other side of her. Like behind her. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I think it went, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it went behind, it went through her other, um, hole that she had, and she's got it, yeah, she's got it, <laughs> it decided to go through the back entrance, oh, I actually, no, it's still alive, I thought I just got it, it's still alive, actually, the cricket is, like, right there where my finger is, where that hole is. Oh, the reflection. Why? But yeah, it's still alive somewhere. I saw it alive. Where is it? You can see it. Maybe Ash has got it now because I definitely don't see it now. This is why I was hoping why she would come out because obviously we get to see more better. Yeah, she is definitely getting big. I can't wait until she's big enough to get out of this enclosure to then go in her main because then she'll finally be big enough to, to go in her main one, which I've had for so long for her. Uh, yeah, I think she's, I think she's got it now because I definitely don't see it moving because before it was like coming out. So I can't really show it because obviously there's not much there. They're in the hide. I can't do anything about that, which sucks because I wanted another life feeding on stream, but yeah. I can't even see it now. All I can see is Asterix's legs, but I'm assuming she got it, which is great. Because that means she's eating, and that means she's eaten three times in a row now, I think. Wait, is it three times or is it four times? She's eating. Uh, no, I haven't actually held her. Uh, I was, uh, when I was actually, um, when she was a sling, um, I should have really done it then. Because, like, when she was a baby, when, baby baby when I first got her, because she was so calm, she she didn't move a bit. Like, when I, when I first got her, she was absolutely, she stayed in one spot, so I kind of had to, like, nudge her into, like, the enclosure. She was so calm. <laughs> so unbelievably calm. Now, I think if I went ahead and did that now, I think she would um, probably freak out, probably because she's not in her safe haven anymore. So eventually, when um, she's in her main enclosure, I probably might do that. I'm not sure. I pro I should have done it much earlier on because then I wouldn't have to worry, like being like, "Oh, I haven't held my tarantula yet" or something like that. Because like when she was a sling, like baby, 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 like she was so calm. I should have done it then. I regret not doing it then, though. I still could do it now, but it's the matter of what she could do, because I'm not sure how she would react to that. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Um, I just did the feeding for Asterix. Um, she ate a cricket. That was great. She ate... Unfortunately, we didn't get it on camera because... They're in the hide. Even I can't see it. I'm assuming she's eating it because I can't see the cricket no more. <laughs> it's vanished out of thin air. Um, so yeah. Hopefully soon she'll get big enough to then finally come out of this enclosure. Obviously before, like, I want her to be fully grown out of this. Like, to be, like, probably like the, the like, hold on, how much? The pot, probably the size of the paw on my hand. Big enough then she can finally go into her main one because I don't want her to... Uh, be moved several times just because she's getting slightly bigger. I want her to be big enough and then her finally moving into our main one, which would probably be goody good for her. So, yeah, it's great. Oh, and I wanted to mention something because I actually, um, if you guys haven't noticed yet, I put on the, um, the, the page for the transfer community and the group as well a banner that I have made for um, every Friday <laughs> because I was like 
I, I wanted something to post for this, uh, for this because obviously I do this every Friday, and so I made the banner, and I was, I was pretty proud of it. <laughs> Because there's this website that you can, uh, obviously everything's limited edition and stuff like that, so you've got to do with what you got to do. But I did that with everything, and it was it was really good. Yeah, yeah, I probably should do. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, I'm still a beginner. She's my first tarantula. I do have spiders though. Um, but yeah, obviously, um, I have um, touched her with uh, the uh, tongs before, I've blown on her before. She doesn't usually bolt when I touch when I touch her, which is good, but there is the matter of where before, one time, well actually two times, when I was rehousing her for the first time, she bolted because obviously I'm so glad I had her, what I did is I put her, I put her old enclosure in her main enclosure, therefore she couldn't bolt away anywhere, and because I did that, I'm so thankful I did that, because she actually decided to bolt out of it, she was climbing up the glass, and I was like, oh, better get the catch up, and I got her, so, um, yeah, that was like the first time I've had her bolt on me, when I was trying to rehouse her, and then the second time she's ever bolted was when um, she was in pre-malt and she didn't want to eat and therefore she tried to bolt away from food. <laughs> she got very frightened by the food, which was a cricket. And that was the only that was the only time that she's ever bolted on me. She's never bolted on me whenever I've blown on her or touched her with the tongs. She's she's got she's kinda like slightly gone downwards. Sometimes it's kind of like a spook, like she'll she'll jump but slowly go downwards, you know? Kind of like, oh, that's happened, and then carry on, you know, that kind of thing. But I, I really do want to hold her eventually, which would be really, really nice. I should have done it when she was much younger, when I first got her. But then again, I didn't, I didn't really know if I should have done that. She was so small, she probably wouldn't even have the... Um, ability to bite yet because like she was that tiny. I had her from like a very, very small sling. Like, she was absolutely tiny. Um, I got pictures of her when she was, when I first got her, but it isn't very good pictures. That's the only thing. So you can't really tell how small she is, but she was so small that um, it'd be difficult to see where she was. And that's why I rehoused her again because I couldn't monitor her feeding. And I wanted to monitor her feeding because obviously the feeding is very important. I needed to know if she was eating and therefore I put her into a smaller en enclosure. Much, much smaller enclosure. And a bit, a bit taller as well. Um, in case she wanted to burrow because obviously she's supposed to be a burrowing species. And obviously you can tell that she is a burrowing species because she's made that giant outside of coal. Um, but yeah, the fact that she... Uh, well actually... I lost my frame of thought there for a second. I should have done it when she was much younger. But yeah. Ah, that's a lot of talking all at once. <laughs> but yeah, um... So, that's that. I've shown you the spiders. I've shown you Ashix eats. Well, we didn't actually see the takedown though. That's the, that's the only thing. I'm also trying to think of what other, like, YouTube videos I could do for my channel because the only thing I do is upload the live streams that I do. But, I don't exactly have, um, a camera or anything to do other videos with because obviously, with my computer, it for some reason wants to do the whole static thing, which I'm not sure why. It's, it's very weird why it does that and I'm so grateful that the people here are accepting that because I have no idea why it does that and I can't fix it and I'm so glad that everyone here um, just works with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah I am. Because when I first did it I was, um, I think I was just a bit, I was really excited obviously, that was excitement obviously and um, but then it got to the point where I was like, okay, well, I need this everything to be perfect. <laughs> oh, Ash 
Ashix is out. Oh, she's got it. Oh, okay. Um, no, Ashix, don't go back in. Don't go back in. Don't go back in. Don't go back in. Oh, she went back in. She was out. She has the prey in her mouth. Oh, that was so cute. What? Asterix. Ah, I don't know why, but she decided to come all the way out with the food in her mouth. I just noticed that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, um, I am getting more comfortable with doing the live streams. It feels a lot more... I'm not sure how to say it. Just a lot more free, I guess, in that sense. But yeah. Oh, she's so cute. I don't know if you guys can see her, but I'll try and show you. There you go. Asterix hasn't webbed since, though. Since she's molted, when she did the molting bed. I kind of wanted to do the, to web up a bit more, because that would be really nice. But there she is. I don't know why she came all the way out with her food. Yeah, she's definitely got it, and she's eating it. Oh, bless her. Thank you, I, I really appreciate that, everyone. Um enjoys the live streams and stuff like that because obviously this community is going to grow along with Asterix and that's what I want for a community for Asterix and all the other spiders and tarantula I may have but Asterix is my first tarantula and that is very important to me and the fact that everyone in the community understands one another and can help one another is very very important thank you thank you <laughs> i i truly appreciate the the love and appreciation everyone has it is i'm very grateful for it it is insane and I never want to let this group or the page go because it's very important to me. I'm so glad that we're all growing and we're all we're all doing this together. And everyone, everyone here is welcome to do their own live streams of trench the feedings as well. And I'll be and I'll uh, participate. Oh, how did I say the word? Uh, I'll take part in it, <laughs> basically. Because uh, that would be really interesting, because other people actually have adult tarantulas, and seeing those takedowns live might actually be more interesting. So yeah, if anyone is interested in doing their own live streams, you are more than welcome to. Um, yeah. I guess that's it for this live stream, because there's nothing else much to talk about. But yeah, you guys are free to do your own live streams, you guys are free to post your own videos, and pictures of your tarantulas and others. Just be respectful, and that's it. What are you trying to do, Asterix? I don't understand what she's trying to do. I don't know if it's a happy dance or what. Wait, is that a happy dance? Oh, oh, is that a happy dance? We might have a happy dance. That's insane. Ah! She's moving that booty around. Oh, 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 oh. We have a happy dance. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Oh, look at her. Oh. So cute. That is actually adorable. Oh my gosh. That amazes me. I've never seen her do this before. That is insane. Oh. That is adorable. She's so cute. She's so happy with her food. Aww. Oh, you're so cute. I mean, I understand what the happy dance is. It's just her webbing up um, the area. 
but it's so cute. That was adorable. <laughs> oh, bless her. But at least she's now seen her with the food in her mouth. She's done the happy dance for us. That was insane. Oh my gosh. That might even be the title of this live stream. Just the happy dance. That was, that was, that was incredible. Oh my gosh. Aww. I'm, I'm so happy. That, 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 that was really good. That was really cute. <laughs> but yeah. That was, that was a great way to end the live stream actually. A happy dance. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I... That was amazing to watch. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, because obviously I will be posting this live stream on YouTube, you can go in the description down below and there'll be a link to the group where you can answer some questions and you can get yourself to become one of the Tarantula community members. Yeah. It's a very important position to have in a loving community. Join now. <laughs> But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, uh, I think I do have some more recent photos of Asterix, but they're on my mom's phone at the moment, so I have to get them off her phone to then post on the page and group. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I we're now ending the live stream. Yeah, I'm so happy that she did the happy dance. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great, lovely rest of your day as of, on a Friday. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that your tarantulas go well and that they don't attack you <laughs> next time you feed them. And yeah, hope they, hopefully you get a happy dance just like what I did. <laughs>